Potheads, so today I have another New York City Experience Friday for you all, which means I'm going to talk about my experience either here in New York or getting to New York or something like that, so if you want to go see my past, I think, two videos, I did one over making the decision to move to New York, and then one over kind of the planning and realistic stuff. And I touched a little bit on finances and kind of how much money I had saved before I left Oklahoma. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about how much money you need ish per month here in New York so that you'll just know that was probably the biggest thing that I was concerned about was am I gonna have enough money to uh, live I think that's what everyone around me was kind of most nervous about as well besides being safe was okay financially is she gonna be able to do this I'll start out with rent and finding an apartment so you can find an apartment in the Bronx or in Queens somewhere around I wouldn't say you'd probably get anything lower than $900. Even if it's super duper tiny and in not a great part of town, you're not going to get anything decent for less than, honestly, like $1,200 a month. Anything in Brooklyn and Manhattan, you're not going to get for that cheap. I seriously doubt unless it's in like the worst neighborhood ever. So Brooklyn apartments are probably like typically around, I want to say $1,400 to $2,000 in that range. An apartment in Brooklyn, though, is going to be a lot bigger than Manhattan. So the prices don't range that much, but the space for what you're getting ranges a ton. So for example, like a bedroom, a one-bedroom apartment that has a separate living room and maybe a small little kitchenette and a bathroom is going to be anywhere from $1,300 to, I mean, $1,800. A two-bedroom would be more like $1,800 to $2,200 a month. So for utilities, I would say around like $200 for all utilities that you're going to pay for-ish a month you'd probably be paying. And that, that's obviously all split. If you have a roommate, it's all cut in half. And then for Manhattan, I would say same for utilities are going to be about the same. But for a loft and or like a, a studio apartment, something that is like a fifth of the size of the apartment in Brooklyn would be around $1,600 to $22,000 again, but again, it's just going to be like a loft or a one bedroom, or not a one bedroom, a loft or a studio, and then in Manhattan, if you're wanting a one bedroom or a two bedroom, that can get up to, I mean, obviously it can get up to like $8,000 a month, but for a reasonable one, you're probably looking at anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000, anywhere from there, depending on what area you're living in. So if you want room and room is important to you and you don't care so much about a commute, you should live in Queens or the Bronx. And if you want to live in Brooklyn, you're still going to get more room than you are in Manhattan. In Manhattan, you're going to have absolutely no room if you have a budget at all. But with living in Manhattan, you can literally step outside your door and walk most places in the city or have a short train ride that's like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. If you're living in the center of Manhattan, you can pretty much get anywhere within 20 minutes, which is super nice. So if you're going to be going around to a lot of different places a lot, then you're going to want to live probably in the center of Manhattan. If you're coming into the city from Brooklyn, it's anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour and 15 minute train ride, depending on where at in Brooklyn you are living. And for prices for the MTA, I think the monthly rate is $116 for unlimited rides. And then daily has a different price. And then it has weekly is a different price. And one way is $275, I think it is. So if you're going to be coming into the city like four days a week, five days a week, then you definitely want to get the monthly Metro Pass. So that's that price. As for groceries, it ranges, the prices of groceries ranges so much. So you can either go to, like Trader Joe's is a lot cheaper obviously than Whole Foods, but with a mixture between the local market that is next to our apartment. So we get some groceries from there, we get some groceries from Whole Foods, and then also some from Trader Joe's. All of that, I roughly spend around, I would say, well, me and Andre, so two of us, we're obviously sharing things, so it's a little bit cheaper that way than if you were just eating everything alone. We spend around like $120 a week on groceries, but we hardly ever eat out. We probably eat out like once or twice a week um, between the two of us. So we do have a lot of groceries and we buy a lot of like vegan brands. So you can definitely live on cheaper than that. But I would say, yeah, if you're a single person, like $75 a week on groceries and that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home, then you'd be set. If you, I, I feel like you could get by 
on like 40 bucks a week on groceries, but that's if you're eating like ramen and sandwiches and canned soups and stuff like that, frozen veggies. You're not eating name brand things or um, obviously like more expensive groceries. Another thing like laundry costs. One load of washing is around like $5.25 for where we do like at our laundromat and for drying it's around $2.50 I think or $2.25 something like that. But if you're doing multiple at a time like we normally spend around like what what do you think Audrey like 30 bucks every time 25 bucks every time that we do laundry but it's just because we let it build up and we have to do multiple loads at a time. So it's doable. The city is all about like making it work for you. You see all these bloggers and famous people living in New York and obviously they're living a super elevated lifestyle so they're going to be spending tons and tons of money on cabs, on groceries, um, on going out to eat and on their apartment. But if you are just trying to make it in New York, I feel like you can make it like you can. It's just all about how badly you want it and what lifestyle you are willing to live. So all of the people I know that live in New York City that have either a lot of debt or that are making it paycheck to paycheck, they are spending above their means. So they're not really looking and budgeting and they're not willing to take their lifestyle that they're used to and, and bring it down a notch. So if you've lived in the Midwest or in the West and you're used to um, a little bit like of a nicer lifestyle and you're wanting to do the same here, you better either have like a lot of savings or a really good job because you definitely have to get used to a different sort of lifestyle living here. And I think that that's the trick. That's the key thing for moving um, from the Midwest or the South to a place like New York is... Everything costs a lot more, but you can do it on your H&M paycheck or on your CBS paycheck if you are willing to uh, make sacrifices in certain areas. You're not going to be able to buy drinks wherever and go out all the time and go to restaurants and hang out with friends. You're going to have to limit your like fun spending and you're going to have to be more conscious about the groceries that you're buying, the clothes that you're buying, like cut out a lot of things in your life that you are spending money on. Maybe you can't go to the gym anymore and spend that money. Maybe instead of going to the movies once a week, you're going to have to go to the movies every other month. You know what I mean? Just little things like that of budgeting ideas. I love budgeting. I think it's so fun and I really like having like knowing that I have control over my money and that I never am in the hole or using up any of my um, savings. So I love listening to Dave Ramsey podcasts. He's taught me a lot about finances, budgeting, income, stock, and all of that sort of stuff. If you're wanting to move to a more expensive city or even if you're just like becoming an adult and having to pay for things on your own and budget things yourself, I would definitely listen to Dave Ramsey podcasts because it's it makes everything so much more seem so much more attainable and really just kind of puts everything into perspective of this is why you don't want to be in debt or this is why you need to live within your means and through that you are able to give more and it's just a lot less stressful of a life. I know so many people who are living these awesome lives of getting to do everything that they want to do and just kind of spending, 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 but when they lay in bed at night they are so stressed out and it really takes a strain on your personality and on your life and you just can't be as happy as someone who doesn't have debt or someone who knows how much they can spend and is conscious about what's in their bank account and what's how much debt they're in you know you just need to like be aware and so many people ignore that and just don't look at it and it's like too stressful it's too hard to think about I don't want to think about it but I also don't want to change my lifestyle and I live the way that I do because I like it and that's what I'm used to blah 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 so yeah not that this is was supposed to be like a tangent about budgeting and saving money but I am just passionate about being debt free and the fact that not having money or not being the richest person or not having the best job I don't think that that should ever limit someone from the possibilities out there and I don't think you should ever not take opportunities or chances or that you should be scared because you feel like you don't have a lot of money you can make it and you can make it work for you and if you want it bad enough, you can do it. If you want to get two jobs and make it that way, then you can do that. If the only thing that you're scared about is money, then you should just save before you come and use the money that you have wisely as you make more money while you're here. So yeah, New York is super expensive, but it's attainable. It's not that scary. You can do it. I believe in you. So if you want to move to New York if you or if you are moving to New York, don't be too scared about money. I promise you that New York is worth it. 
and it's amazing. And if you hate it, you can always leave and go back to the Midwest or the South or the West or wherever you want to go and not pay $3,000 in rent a month. I just wanted to kind of say that. I don't know how informative this was, but I just wanted to kind of like throw some numbers out there for you all. Obviously, like I don't go out, I don't drink, so I'm not spending my money there. So I save a lot of money and I'm also not shopping as much as I used to. My wardrobe has been cut down a lot and I shop maybe like once a year, twice a year, maybe. You just have to know, like I said, what works for you. And I think, is that everything? It's like food, rent, and laundry. That's basically like all you need to live on. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful and informative at all. I don't really know if it was, but I just wanted to let you guys kind of know ballpark area of ish what you think because before I moved here, I had no idea how much anything cost. I thought that everything, all groceries here cost like five times what they did in Oklahoma and that's not the case. And I had no idea how much rent would be or anything like that. Obviously, if you are moving, it's going to cost more than when you're already living at a place because you have to pay like a first month's rent and security deposit and all of that stuff. So do think about that when you're initially coming. And every time you move, if you do move, um, you'll have to do that all over again. I love you guys. I hope you have a good day and I will see you all on Monday. Have a good weekend, bedheads. Love you lots. Mwah. This one is disgusting. You must eat it. It tastes literally like nothing. <laughs> That's great. So it's not disgusting. It just doesn't taste like anything. No, it's like it tried, but it didn't. I've had something like that before. Just cork it down. <laughs> I legit, I don't know if I can. Audrey, you can't. Also, put your freaking feet down. It's like making me back hurt. It's making me a back hurt. That stupid thing is going on. Clinkity clink. Give me a slice. I'll show you that it's not that bad. Is it like really disgusting? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's not bad at all. Maybe you got a good piece. Does it taste weird? It doesn't taste good. <laughs> but it doesn't taste bad either. I don't want you. I'll just eat it. You don't get the chocolate <laughs> if you don't eat the orange. That's Sharpie. Mm. <laughs> and if you're willing to have... Oh my gosh, look at our plant, Audrey. Do you see that? Your white thing? Yeah. It's been there for weeks. I haven't seen you're that. You're lying. It's been there for Why weeks. didn't you tell me? It's so cute. What is it supposed to be? Orchid. <laughs> I don't see that's right. good for you. I'm making my face even more red now. <laughs> you are. Your I'm, eyes are red. That Your can eyeballs be good. are red. <laughs> she just swallowed a mandarin orange. Oh. Audrey, where are you? Where are you going? <laughs> oh my gosh. My face is seriously going to be so red yeah, now. Right. You have dribble. <laughs> I know I felt it. <laughs> you better not go to sleep. Oh, wait, no, I was talking about going, getting an apartment. Okay. Oh, gosh, you've distracted me so much, Audrey.